Welcome to TPI, the global leader in test products. And this short video is going to show you how easy the SP1000 ambient CO2 monitor is for creating ambient CO2 reports and readings and ask the question, can your ambient CO2 monitor do this? So here we have the SP1000 up ready to do an ambient CO room test. I've opened up the TPI view app on my phone and as you can see the SP1000 is visible. Um, tap on there and it quickly shows the uh, level of ambient CO2 in the room here. One of the really cool features is with this model um, is that actually as the CO2 is building up in the room and we're monitoring the level of CO2 in here um, we can, because it is a remote display, leave the room and continue to monitor the CO2 from a safe um, <clears throat> environment outside the room. Uh, as well as monitoring the live CO2 remotely, um, there also does have a feature with a quick swipe um, to the left or clicking on the ambient CO2 tab we can actually run an ambient CO2 test. Here it's defaulted to 30 minutes, but for the purposes of this demonstration, we can just run a quick uh, one minute test. And if we start the test here, so clearly, as you can see there, outside the room, not in the environment <clears throat> where the monitor monitoring's taken place, we will get the ambient CO2 reading and for the duration of the test, we're going, it's also going to record the minimum, the maximum, and the average CO2. But as I say, the best thing about this, and as well that count, uh, um, counts down, is that we are not in the environment where the CO2 potentially could be rising to levels that are um, possibly harmful. So um, one thing you do get is that even if we just monitor without doing the uh, reporting over a set period of time but we can watch the co2 full uh, in the full knowledge that um, when we do need to re-enter the environment we know that the ambient co2 levels are those which are not going to be harmful so see the countdown uh, countdown timer has now finished we can quickly create that report it's going to give us um, once it gets our gps locations and we've named the report, which is now the ambient CO2. You can see there that we have the uh, minimum, maximum and average CO2 over the period. And now that we have that report, we can save that to job. We can print or email. But as I say, um, we're all doing that from the safety of not being in the room where that potential of the CO2 could rise. 